on Channel 4, the local station. This is Look Local. Hello and welcome to Look Local. I'm Karen Adams. This is the place where we showcase three local businesses a week, as well as tell you about local events that are going on around town. We do that by reminding you if you're looking for something to do or for someone to help, it is always better to look local. This week, we are featuring Beaches Episcopal School, a premier private elementary school. If you're a parent looking for options away from public, this may be the right choice. We're going to give you a close look. CNS Healthcare is also today. We're focusing on depression and overeating. We're going to find out how the two connect. And Gutter Helmet can not only improve your property, but save your home. Spring rains are definitely on the way. Today, we're going to find out what they're offering. But we begin today with Martha Milton who is the head of the school for Beaches Episcopal. Welcome, welcome, Martha, for being here today. Beaches Episcopal is a pre-K through sixth grade elementary school. And I guess one question is, it's a great alternative. What do you think you guys do differently in this age range? And welcome. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be here. Um, Beaches Episcopal School has a 60-year tradition of academic excellence in our community. As you said, we are a pre-K through sixth grade program and accredited by Florida Council of Independent Schools. And I think what sets us apart is that we are all about a balanced program, a well-rounded uh, well program for our children. Sure. Um, along with the core subjects of reading and writing and math and science and social studies, we offer a, an array of enrichment classes as well. So we have art, mm -hmm. music, physical education, mm -hmm. um, Spanish, uh, computer science, Christian formation, and of course in our Christian formation program, above all, we want children to know that God loves them unconditionally. Our character education program, we are all about um, children and learning, uh, having skills such as integrity, respect, mm -hmm compassion for others. Just, I guess, the morals and the ethics. That's that, right. That go along just with, in, in general, character building. That's right. And we're seeing some great pictures mm -hmm. of some of the student body there. What I think is fantastic is all the extracurriculars. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. oftentimes, and that's not always an option in public schools. That's exactly right. That we right. can get in private schools, uh, Spanish especially. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's there pretty much as mm -hmm. a regular, in, in the regular curriculum built in weekly, correct? Right. And yeah. it's um, every one of those enrichments our children attend at least once a week. Week, some of them more than once a week. Um, but I think what I'm most proud of is our new idea studio, which is an offshoot of the makerspace movement. Okay, now this is what we got to show you. They actually have some deck chairs that they've designed that you're about to see. Mm -hmm. Tell us what this is and a little bit more about the idea studio. Sure. This is, um, this is the event Deck the Chairs that um, took place this past December in Jacksonville Beach, and it supports the lifeguard station. Um, our children won best of show in this exhibit. We, um, the children actually uh, brainstormed the topic, the theme. They designed the chair. They had to use their 21st century learning skills of problem solving, creative thinking, collaborative learning. Um, and it was just a wonderful event. They, first they had to um, lay, the, lay, lay the space out in their um, classroom to uh -huh. see what the magnitude of it was. And then, um, create all those individual items that you see to scale. That is really so, neat. And then they get to see the finished product mm -hmm, and they actually right. designed it themselves. Mm -hmm, right. And so you know we're talking a lot of proud parents here. Right, right. right. Yeah. It was a wonderful event for them. And I think what I love the most about the Idea Studio is that um, there's no fear of failure. That children can go in and create and take a concept from conception to fruition and mm -hmm. it's just um, a wonderful opportunity for them. Mm -hmm. We call our children um, Imagineers. <laughs> and that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And so this only goes to the sixth grade. So this is strictly an elementary right. school. Um, and so tell us, because we know it's, it's a private right. um, education, that you will have, there's always a cost with that that's Correct. associated with that. Correct. But there, there is help for some people that Correct. may qualify for some tuition assistance. Can you explain what they sure. might, might need to do? As an Episcopal school, we are um, all about embracing socioeconomic diversity. Mm -hmm. And so we do offer a financial aid program that parents are certainly um, invited to research and uh, there's a process that you would go through and you can find that on our website. Mm -hmm. um, 
So, and the, the um, in this particular process that you would go through for Beaches Episcopal School mm -hmm. is also the same one that you would go right. through through any of the private schools and in, in Jacksonville and right. St. John's County in Florida. I think it's a it's all interrelated there as well. Correct. That's right. correct. Mm -hmm. So you can share that information with other schools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's that's a great way. So yeah. tell us, how do you guys you know stay stay above the curriculum and kind of one step ahead? Because it seems to me like that's what you're doing there. Well, I think as an independent school, you know, we are so fortunate that um, we use our um, our national standards to design our program. Um, we have the flexibility for teachers to really be professionals in their area. They create, um, they research best practices. We have nice small classes so the children get individual attention. There's a picture of our idea studio where a child's actually learning to saw. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, but um, I just think that um, we are, we have um, control of the outcome. So we have our standards and it, as I said, we're accredited by Florida Council of Independent Schools. Mm -hmm. So they hold us to those high standards with all of our, with our governance, with our program, with our safety. Um, and there's a picture of our Mac lab. Mm -hmm. Apple products. Apple products. Um, mm -hmm. We have a one-to-one -one, um, iPad learning uh, center with our for our fifth and sixth graders mm -hmm. and the rest of the children have access to those in their classroom but our fifth graders actually um, come to fifth grade they receive the iPad and then they it belongs to them through sixth grade and then they can take it with them when they graduate and then they're personally responsible right. which right. also gives mm -hmm. them a sense right. of responsibility and, and so forth when, right. when they take control of that right. type of thing all right we only have about 30 seconds left okay um, but you guys are located at Jack yes Beach? and we just encourage um, our, your viewers to come out and take a tour. You need to um, decide in your own mind what the best circumstance is for your child, what your ideal school looks like, and then visit other campuses and visit schools and then see which one lines up with what you want for your children. I think that's great advice, yeah. Martha mm -hmm. Milton. Thanks. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming in. You bet. Coming up next on Look Local, CNS Healthcare will be explaining the relation between depression and overeating, in effect, binge eating, a very serious topic, and we were going to shed some light on that. Plus, one of the most acclaimed Broadway musicals is coming to Jacksonville. The Phantom of the Opera will be performing at the Times Union Center for the Performing Arts. For ticket information, you can log on to artistseriesjacks.org.